Hello, what's up YouTube? In this tutorial, I want to show you a very simple of how you can edit your studio portrait or how you can easily edit, edit your studio photos within Photoshop. So this is going to be a very simple and easy to understand tutorial. And if at all you find it helpful, don't forget to like this video. And in what would have been like part one for this tutorial, we added this background or this note effect within the background and those interested I'm going to leave the video right above here so that you can check out how to add this nice and beautiful effect. You can see this window effect and the circle within the background to add more drama to your studio images within Photoshop. So usually for studio images, what I tend to do, you can see, let me first of all show you something about this image and what we want to deal with. So first of all, we want to deal with the skin retouching process of this image you just want to retouch the skin and also we want to remove the folds and wrinkles from this image and also we want to clean the floor and get rid of this right here so basically what i'm going to do i'm just going to and before i can proceed this image was taken by Noe manuela or emanuela and i'm going to link her instagram link in the description of this very video so with that said, I'm just going to first of all come and to my actions rather and I'm going to come and play a 16-bit frequency separation. Since this is a 16-bit image, just going to come right here under my actions and I'm going to play my 16-bit frequency separation action. So usually for full body images, I tend not to exceed a radius of 5. Let me show you something right here. So when we come to the first area, so you have to look for area, the area that has more or prominent skin details. So this is the reference point right here. I'm just going to take the radius up, up to a point when those details are just starting to get close from the image. So you can see at around 5 that is when they're just starting to completely disappear. But we can still see the original details within the face. I'm just going to come and hit OK. My action is going to continue playing. And when it is done playing, we're just going to proceed with this very image. So let me first of all show you something briefly and what we ha have fixed within this image. So I'm just going to double click on my black and white layer. If at all you don't have it, you can simply select the high frequency layer, then come under the adjustments and you create a black and white adjustment layer. So I'm just going to come and double click right here to see the properties. And what I want to do, I'm just going to darken the yellows just like that. So that I can see everything I have to fix in the studio portrait. So you can see we have to fix this area right here. And we have to remove these folds and wrinkles. And we have a part to do when we are trying to clean up the floor area. And we have to do a skin retouching. So I'm just going to get it back the way it is meant to be. And I'm going to deactivate the black and white layer. Come to the low frequency layer and select it. And for full body images, usually I only use the Mr. Brush tool. So I'm just going to right click under the brushes and get my Mr. Brush tool. And if at all you don't have your Mr. Brush tool under the brushes, you can get it right here. If at all you have all the versions of Photoshop. So for settings, I, I use the hardness of 0%, meaning it is a soft Mr. Brush tool. And I make sure it is a clean brush and I select this option which is going to clean the brush as I'm trying to blend or even out the skin tones of the model. The weight I prefer to use is weight of 9. Load 75, mix at 90 in the flat 100%. So I make sure the sample all layers option is not checked. And with the low frequency layer selected, I'm just going to zoom in slightly right there. And I'm going to deactivate or hide the texture layer. I'm just going to start blending or evening out the skin tones of this model. So left click and try to paint through and what this does it is going to be harmonizing or evening out the skin tone transitions of this model and you can see the Mr. Brush tool gets the job done in this case so I'm just going to come and blend the skin tones so I'm just trying to mix the skin tones that are looking even and harmonizing them and ensuring that we have an even Skin tone transitions so I'm just trying to blend or work around them and you can see this gets the job done and is 
very fast when it comes to editing full body images because you have less work to do and as we are retouching make sure you retouch at a distance if at all you want to see every skin tone inconsistency in the image so come and increase on the size and work on the hand area and you can see this gets the job done faster when you're working with full body images and you can retouch very many photos within a very short period of time so just come to this other hand area and try to blend or even the skin just like that and you can see it really gets the job done quicker or faster so let's just clean up this and you're going to work on the background later on and clean up the background so let's just try retouching these areas right here so come this other side and also work on this area and i'm going to zoom out slightly and come and activate the texture layer and you can see we are done basically retouching the image this is the before after before after and the image looks great so anything i'm going to do i'm just going to simply come and delete the black and white layer and i'm going to create a stamp this layer from this by hitting shift alternate command e on the keyboard or shift alternate control e on the keyboard so after doing that with the mr brush tool still active i'm just going to use the same settings and simply paint right here so you can see if i told you have wrinkles right here you have to move your mr brush tool in the opposite direction of the wrinkles to get rid of it so you can see this wrinkle is moving from up to down meaning i have to move my mr brush tool in the left right kind of movement to get rid of these wrinkles on the object on which is sitting and you can see it gets the job done very fast and quicker and this is the same technique you can use to remove folds and wrinkles from your studio backdrops within photoshop and it is going to be a very fast kind of technique that is going to get the job done easily and faster so let's just clean up this and we are going to be done within a very short time and you can see we are done removing the wrinkles from this object on which is seated you can see that and now we just want to clean up this floor area and in order to see that quite well or better just come and create a black and white adjustment layer and now darken it just by taking the reds down and that is going to expose and show the areas you have to work on to clean up the image so with that then come back and select the layer that you created the stamp visible layer and just come and paint and in order to clean up this better you have to move the mixer brush tool in the opposite direction of for example the wrinkles or the dirt that you have to deal with so i'm just going to come and clean this up just like that and you can see it really works best and it is very fast and convenient because right now you can see every area that has those that areas and wrinkles and you can get rid of them faster than when you don't have a black and white layer that is going to show you or enable you see those areas that you have to work on in your images so that you can clean them up so the black and white layer is more of a guide or help layer that is going to help you do this faster so you can now come and turn it off and you can see the image looks very nice and clean so i'm just going to delete the black and white layer and i'm just going to come and do a little bit of eye whitening so come and create a hue and saturation layer and turn the saturation all the way down up to around negative 98 of the master and hit control command i on the keyboard to invert that come and get a brush tool and make sure the hardness is at zero meaning it is a soft round brush tool and make sure you have white on top so you can click right here to get black and white on top and make sure you have white on top and now you can zoom in into the eye area and using a white brush you can just whiten the eyes of our model just like that 
So I'm doing a little bit of teeth whitening if at all you wish to. And if at all you make a mistake, switch, use X on the keyboard and you can paint the effect using a black brush. So we are done retouching the image. And this is it for today's tutorial. So I'm just going to come and I want to eliminate some string right here. I'm just going to use the spot healing brush tool, reduce on the size and simply dab over or click over that thread to get rid of it from the image. And you can see the image has now been retouched and you can see the overall before and after before after for retouching this very image. So you can now come and export it by simply coming to file export and you come to export as and you can export the image so that it doesn't change in color when you post it on instagram so format you select jpeg and usually with sample i change it to by cubic sharper and i select the color space as convert srgb make sure these two options are checked and i also embed the color profile and after doing all that i'm just going to come and simply hit export and when you hit export is going to give you a location where you want to save your image so i'm just going to show you that hit export and you can save that whenever or wherever you want to save the image so basically this is a simple to edit your studio images within photoshop and if at all you found this helpful don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if at all you have been watching and you are not subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for and see you in yet more amazing shows and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.